Hey guys, today I'm gonna be sharing my old tweets with you. I don't know how, but the other day I came across some of my old tweets that were just hilarious. They were all from like 2014 when I was like 16, so like middle of my like like the like middle of my te like teenage years, and I just think they're hilarious because. I was quite cringe. I'm still a cringe person. I like I'll be the first to admit it. I'm a very cringe person, but like I don't write it on social media now because I know that I'm gonna be ashamed for it. Um, but back then I didn't think that. So like I posted literally everything that I thought. Um, and the result is quite hilarious. I didn't go through all of my tweets in 2014 because they're just they're just too many. But um, here are the. Like a little compilation of them. I think it's going to be funny. I don't know how, but the Vampire Diaries always manages to get better and better. Hashtag addicted. I remember I was obsessed with um, Vampire Diaries. I like watched it for so long until, spoiler, Alina died. Um, but um, now I don't watch it anymore. But I used to be obsessed. Like It used to be my favorite show ever. I've seen people take selfies at password controls. I'm done with this world. I'm glad you guys are liking the new post on my blog. Check it out if you haven't already. I've got no idea what that blog post was. But I can tell you that like back in 2014, I, I probably had like 10 followers. So like none of them probably checked my blog post. So I would just write that. Just like fake it until you make it. That's kind of what I did. Uh, <laughs> but it's just funny to see. I always used to be like, oh, thanks guys for liking my blog post. Like thanks for the feedback and stuff like that. Like I don't know if in my mind I believed people actually liked it. Or if in my mind like if two people read it, it was like amazing. It probably was. And it still probably is that two people, like two unknown people read my blog posts. But back then I used to be like really like smug about it. Be like, thanks for liking my blog post. I like put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> I'm out of video ideas. SOS, tweet me what you like to see. No one ever tweeted like one thing. No one, like not one person has tweeted anything about it. Oh, because at the end we all want the happiness chocolate gives us without the chocolate. A little fat Melissa talking about love, about chocolate. <laughs> we all have that one person we have an eternal crush on. I don't know if I was talking about an actual person here or like a celebrity. Probably an actual person I like. I was a, I was a person, like I was a girl who got crushes like every two weeks on different people and I used to think that like I was gonna get married with all of them, basically. And um, I, yeah, I used to think, oh they love me, but like they're too shy to admit, like not one, like not one out of like my 50, like probably 60 crushes, like came out and was like, hey, I like you. So don't ever tell any girl that you hurt more than her when she's on her periods. That's a true story. Don't like be like, oh fuck, I hit my finger. Don't. Joking me? Like, you can't like be hurting me. It's just funny, like, the tweets themselves aren't even funny, but I know myself. Like, pizza and movie night and always be partying. 16 year old Melissa did not go out. Like, she like stayed in. Like, she didn't have the choice. She was gonna stay in. Like, it doesn't beat it. You don't have the choice when it, like, you, it can't beat it when you don't have a choice. It's just funny, like, I don't know why I, like, pretended to be someone I'm not. 10 p.m. Late. Late, late, late nights. Sitting in the kitchen and eating chocolate. Hashtag Mondays. Busy days equal microwave dinners. I was living with my parents. Like, what kind of busy day? Like, I didn't cook. Like, I don't, I just cringe myself. Oh, this is deep. This one is deep. I feel like them because I like a little bit of like a background story. I wanted to go to LA to um for university. So I feel like the main reason why I gave up on LA is because I don't constantly want to be surrounded by people who want fame and money. I think that the reason why I have by the way sorry because of the light if it goes like weird because the light outside is weird as well. Um, I think the reason why I haven't found someone special is because I haven't found anyone who will watch cartoons in bed with me. Oh, will we be packing for college, meaning university, in two years? What happened to my child? And well, here you are. You packed for college and been like moved and like you're here now. It just makes me like it just makes me smile when I like see myself tweeting about the future and like I've lived that future. It's just funny. <laughs> That's true. Okay, this one's funny. Whenever doctors say I do something wrong, my quick response is like, 
am I gonna die? And doctors are like, yeah, you just need to moisturize your skin, you're fine. <laughs> That's me, I'm like a hypochondriac or like however you call it, I feel like I'm gonna die from every single disease I have. I literally have like a patch of like dry skin, which isn't like eczema, it's just like dry skin on my legs and I, I, I think I have skin cancer. I have like research, it's just I can't, like I think everything I have is like serious. Oh, I gave the best advice ever to guys here, okay. It's not very hard to understand women. Take the opposite of what she says and add I wish you at the beginning of the sentence. So, I give an example. Example of my last tweet. You flirt with a lot of girls, meaning I wish you didn't flirt with a lot of girls. I feel like that's true. That's true in like a lot of like, yeah, that's so true. <laughs> Don't you just hate people who talk? That's me like 70% of the time still. And then I'm talking about getting pregnant. I already know that I'll be having pickles when I get pregnant. Okay. Having a crush is the stupidest thing ever. Hashtag just saying. Having a soft heart in a cruel world is courage, not weakness. I'm just gonna stop. Oh my god, this is like, they're bad. They're not good. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just cringe. I'm just really, really cringe. I can't handle myself sometimes. Anyway, I hope this video was like at least a little tiny bit entertaining. Um, let me know what like, if you remember any like cringy tweet from your like childhood, let me know. I'll just laugh. <laughs> and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.